hi loves welcome back to eco designs to feed youtube channel if you are just coming across this channel for the very first time hi you are welcome if you have been a returning viewer you are also welcome my name is chiwendo and i am the lead creative director eco designs to fit in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this beautiful 2d and 3d appliques this applique has been trending it is very simple and if this is what you seem interested in learning please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial you guys these are all the materials i'm going to be using for this tutorial first of all you're going to be needing a copper wire this copper wire is 0.50 mm you can also make use of a millinery wire which you can get from heart making shop i have my cup chain and the other one is a bead okay i've not decided which of them to use so whichever it is i'm going to use you'll be seeing it in this tutorial now i have my um hemming tape i have my pencil i don't have a cutter i'll be using these scissors to cut my copper wire and then these other scissors to cut my fabric i have my gun glue okay you can make use of your gun glue or any fabric glue of your choice then i have my fabric i have a shiny face bridal satin that is what i want to use you can make use of an organza and any material of your choice i have my interface and then i have my color gum this color gum i'll be using it to trace out my templates okay so first of all go ahead and bring in a paper or um something hard and then trace out your template which is the shape that you need all right so i'm going to be drawing out this petal shape it's not a must that you are going to draw a petal shape you can use an oval shape you can also draw out a circular shape whichever shape you so desire that's what you are going to be tracing out and then you cut it out so now that i've cut this out you guys next thing i'm going to bring in my fabric like i said this is shiny face bridal satin and you know it's a little bit thick although i'm going to be doubling it okay so first of all i'm going to have to fuse in this paper gum into it all right so i've gone ahead to do that and i'm going to cut out the excess paper gum on this fabric you can see i'm not making use of all the whole bridal setting it all depends on the quantity that you want for me i'm going to just cut out um, i need just four pieces okay of this my petal applique so now um to make this stronger i'm going to go ahead and double this and to do that i would go ahead and place in my hemming tape just as you can see me doing like this and then once i am done i'm going to double this okay so now watch how i'll be doing this so after i double this like this i'm going to use my steam iron and then iron it down okay now i'm going to bring in my zigzag scissors i don't want to use an ordinary scissors to cut this out because i don't want this fabric to fray okay so bring in your petal shape and then place it on top your fabric and then use your zigzag scissors to cut it out all right now you guys if you are using an organza organza doesn't have the tendency of fraying so you can go ahead and just cut it out with your normal scissors or your rotary cutter anyone it is that you want to use okay so i'm going to 
continue cutting out my shape until i get my desired number okay for me i need just four of these but i'm just going to cut the entire fabric so that you guys can see exactly how to cut this out okay now without even applying my cup chain on this you can see the design is already coming out you can actually use this like this okay right now i'm going to go ahead and cut my cup chain into pieces to cut it out i'm going to measure the length of this petal okay on both sides so i'm going to cut my cup chain using my scissors i am done cutting it out so i'm not going to be using the whole of this petal because i don't have enough cup chain with me right now so if you are to make a lot of it go ahead and buy enough cup chain okay so i've gone ahead to heat up my gun glue ensure that this is well heated because if it's not well heated it's going to be difficult to gum this cup chain okay so you can see that i've placed in my first cup chain right now i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side you guys this is so hot okay so this has been hurting my hand and yeah what do i do because i want to bring this tutorial to you guys okay so now i've placed in the second one i'm going to set it aside so that it can actually dry properly well all right now i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other ones so gently apply your gum and then use the cup chain to go around it all right so now i'm repeating the same thing on the other side and then inputting my cup chain so if you get to some parts that the cup chain is longer than the petal you go ahead and cut out the ss cup chain okay so guys you guys if you are to make a 2d appliques the way it is right now is what we call the 2d okay so i have actually made a 2d appliques just like this if you are just making a 2d this is enough for what you want all right so now i'm going to complete the other one and then we move over to how to achieve your 3d appliques okay so guys you can see i am done with this and this is what your 2d apple should look like now i'm going to then bring in my copper wire so that we can input it and it forms our 3d apple okay so i'm going to go ahead and bring in my copper wire this is my copper wire so what i'm going to do is to cut it into pieces all right and then i would repeat the same thing to the other ones you can see what i am doing all right so for this 3d i'm going to just make three of it because i don't have enough cup chain okay so guys now that i'm done cutting out the copper wire what you want to do is bring in your gum and then you place it in the middle of this your petal all right just like i'm doing right now and then once you are done applying the gum go ahead and stick the copper wire 
inside just like this okay you guys you have to be fast with this okay because at this point the gum was dried so i'm going to apply another gum and then go ahead and cover it up with my cup chain you might as well leave it just like this in that case you can input your copper wire right at the back all right but for me i went ahead to input another cup chain in between so you can see how this is able to style anyhow i want it and you can see how the other one is just standing okay so i'm going to repeat the same thing all through the three like i said i'm going to be making the 3d applique for just three of it and i'll be leaving out one to indicate the 2d all right so i've done this one and you go ahead and cut out the ss copper wire now repeat the same thing for the last one you can see what i am doing apply your gum and then stick the copper wire inside and next is to go ahead and cover it up with your cup chain okay so guys this is exactly how to make your 3d and your 2d applique i guess this is very simple okay so i'm going to be styling it so that you guys can see exactly what i have right here can you see so if this tutorial was helpful please make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video so that more people can get to see it i will definitely see you guys in my next tutorial bye